Hello, and welcome to a new video from My Energy. We will explain how you can set up and distinguish between different vehicles using Zappi. For example, a company car whose charging sessions are paid for by the employer and a private vehicle for which you will pay for the energy yourself. This video is only intended for Zappi devices delivered after April 2022 and whose serial number begins with a 2. The older Zappi versions are not compatible with MyEnergy ID. First of all, your Zappi device must have the latest firmware, version 5.113 or higher. You won't see any difference in the Zappi itself, but you need to start by enabling the lock function. To do this, go to the menu on the charging station, navigate to Other Settings, and turn on only the first two lines under Lock Function. Remember the PIN code in case you need a general unlock, for example, to adjust settings later. Note that the last line, Charging, in this screen should not be turned on, as that would allow charging without entering a PIN code. After this, all settings need to be done through our My Account webpage. So, go to myaccount.myenergy.com and log in with the same credentials you used to activate the app. Click on Location on the left, then go to Access Management. Now, press Add PIN Code and a screen will open for entering all the details. First, choose a simple name for the user, for example, Tom. Next, create a five-digit PIN code using only the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. For example, 12344. Under Usage Type, select either Business or Private Use. In the last line, you can choose the default mode in which you want to start the charging session. Save the settings by clicking on Add PIN. You can now start the charging session on the device by entering the PIN code. Afterwards, you can view and download the charging sessions via Excel. If you want to link the PIN code to OCPP, Open Charge Point Protocol, through your mobility service provider, you need to revisit the PIN code settings by clicking on the Edit button. Now you will see the virtual badge ID associated with this PIN code, and you can provide it as a unique code, similar to an RFID card to your mobility service provider. Thank you for watching, and until next time.